Hey, how's it going? Chris from my core balance. Wanted to uh, show you some exercises uh, for the neck, loosen up the neck a little bit. One problem with doing all this, like cracking and moving the neck around, is that you're not taking into account the upper back positioning. So what we really need for the neck to form a vertical column is for the upper back and shoulders to be in their proper position. Because if you're here, slumped forward, your head's forward, your neck is under a lot of tension, cracking it, massaging it, it's not gonna help because ultimately your neck has to engage to keep your head from falling forward. So we need to integrate the shoulders. So first step, actually we're gonna start here. You're gonna take one hand and bring it just like this on the same shoulder blade. You're gonna bring the other one like this. Now you're gonna just reach them toward each other. If you can touch them together, go ahead and grab them without forcing them. If not, just hold it here and then you're gonna take both shoulders and pull them back. I'll show you the other side as well. You're gonna pull it back like this. Hold that position, pinching the shoulder blades together. Do both sides. Uh, most people have one side will be a lot harder than the other. Let's see, next is uh, you're gonna interlace your hands behind your back. So you're gonna go here. First step is to get your palms touching. No matter what happens, keep your palms together. And then secondly, you're gonna straighten out the elbows. Now watch what happens with my shoulders when I do that. It's gonna pull them back. Palms are, are still together. Check your palms, make sure they're together. You're gripping your hands really tight, keeping them together. Shoulders are back. Once I'm in this position, you can see it's like my arms are almost gone. Uh, so look in the mirror, make sure your arms, you can hide them behind your back. Next step is you're gonna take your head tip it to the side, but you're not gonna do it like this with just the upper part of your neck. You're gonna do it with the lower part of your neck. So it's like you're trying to get the neck closer to the shoulder. Now I'm going to my left. I'm making sure that my right shoulder stays down because I'm stretching this up and I'm stretching this down. The whole muscle's coming apart like this. Now, if you've never done this, this is gonna be very challenging, most likely the first time you do it. So don't expect the uh, shoulder to be like perfectly down. Yours might pop up like this a little bit. Just keep working it several weeks in a row and, uh, and you'll start to slowly get better. So right here, okay, that's side to side. We're gonna add some front to back into it here. Go to the side and that's your next stretches for the day. Um, let me know how this goes and uh